вот есть UVC Дон. У них бывают свои, так скажем, Дон. Проекты. Вот этот проект не проигрывает. Они, если нужно, три года один бой делали, два года один. Если не устраивает там, соперника, они переносят, травмы придумывают. Там, а, а реальные а, чемпионы, они проигрывают, там, выигрывают. Хабиб тоже да, он, он хороший спортсмен, но он проект, да, он юрисидон. Он стопроцентный проект, потому что э, у них хорошие отношения с Даной Вайтом, там, и э, э, хорошие там, бои бывают. И, если кого-то, если да, я пропустил, да, он бой сразу снимает с рейтинга, его никогда не снимали с рейтинга. Вот. Ну, и он, он тоже знает, что он в проекте Юлисина. Если он не проект, там, то я никогда не видел, чтобы наш брат Хабиб ну, взял, выступал с флагом Российской Федерации, флагом Дагестана или там, не знаю, как еще там. И поэтому он четко да, зная, да, он, на что идет, стал чемпионом. Для UVC да, он, Хамзат очень интересен, потому что он очень, так скажем, неадренарный спортсмен, человек, и, и он очень интересен, и он готов драться в любых весах, на любых, там, там, скажем, весовой категории, на любой весовой категории, и, и у него хорошие данные. Я готов выставить любой вес, его вес. Ахмат и Дон. И любой генерал. Дон. Если Хабиб будет ходить Ахмат и Дон, и, э, я готов дать любые деньги Дон, и посмотреть, порвет ли Ахмат и Дон любого. Я найду тебя, да, и мы посмотрим, да, кто из нас шейтан. Да. Ты ночами не, не спать, да, сейчас завещание делать, если я вру, помоги ты моей семье, да. очень много шейтанов. Да. Планировал эфир в инстаграме Рамзана Кадырова. Было много реакций, но не было твоей реакции. А как вы хотите, что да? Нет, вот почему ты ну, не стал реагировать на это? Может, это просто позиция? Эх, ну, потому что чуть опыта набрался. Жизненно, надо, так сказать. Я думаю, за это. Не знаю, я не считаю, что нужно как-то на это реагировать или еще что-то. И как-то пропустил это все. Я, дум, я, я думаю, что это больше связано с жизненным опытом. Потому что высказываний у меня в жизни было очень много, были хорошие, были плохие. Это же все анализируется, когда ты смотришь. Когда проходит время, когда ты смотришь назад, что можно было высказать, что нельзя было. Как? У каждого человека есть свое мнение, так что пускай оно будет. Было ли разочарование, когда вы увидели, что он написал? Не было никакого разочарования. Этого человека я никогда не видел. Мы с ним общались по телефону пару раз. И знаете, как разочарование будет, когда ты от, чего от человека ждешь какой-то отдачи, и ты его когда не получаешь, от этого, от этого человека ничего никогда не ждал. Но он имеет право, если он так считает, нужно писать успешно. Это все вопрос уже к нему. Коллеги, последний вопрос, пожалуйста. Если вы его встретите, вы к нему подойдете, чтобы что-то у него спросить? Зачем ты, допустим, про меня так написал? Я думаю, что не подойду. А нужно подход?
What are you talking about? Is uh, Ramadan finished, yeah? Yeah, the Ramadan finished. We started saying better now. <laughs> what are you pulling my eyes out for? Look on stabbing me. <laughs> <laughs> so when you, you fight, why you wanna? You, I wanna fight you. Yeah, why not, brother? Let's, Let's go. go, August. I'm ready. You have to. You have to beat Magni. Magni's coming for you. I, my Magni is bullshit guy, brother. It's easy too fight. small for. Is Magni easy, easy fight? fight? Easy money, brother. But mm -hmm. just he said he said that he's gonna slap me. I have to show him how Chechen slap. You know, like like. Slap this, him. You know? No, 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 not good, not good. <laughs> hey, brother, I'm dr look, look, look. Brother, no, just say to me when you want, I will fight, brother. We we'll fight. These bullshit fight. guys talk too much, but we have to show real fight, brother. No, yeah, I I'll fight you, of course. You know I will. But you, you know I beat you, right? You know I beat you easy. <laughs> <laughs> you, go, know <laughs> you know this. You know this. Cage, Cage, gonna show it, brother. Okay. You're always Listen. welcome. Brother. If you wanna fight with me, always welcome, brother. I, I think I can smash you easy, brother. Nah, too <laughs> slow, too slow. <laughs> hey. Okay. Listen, we fight one day. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go now. Okay. Okay, okay? brother. When Kamzat first joined All Stars, he, he made the noise already on the first day he came here. He thought it was some grappling session, but he came into a boxing sparring session and uh, ended up in a, in a little brawl the first day. You have to be prepared that every session is gonna be competitive. As a training and sparring partner for his teammates, it's brutal actually. If you don't do what you're supposed to do, he's gonna let you know about it. He's a guy that like, expects everyone to do their best and uh, he wants to know why. Why you're not uh, doing your best and why you're not like uh, performing. Why, you're not got the, why you haven't got the discipline or the sacrifice. So as a teammate, he keeps the guys like in order. Life is fast and easy because we come from a war like it was like not easy life for us. So when we grow up, now it's easy brother. Look look at it, everything is perfect for us. There's some guy like write something about, uh, about me like Khabib gonna smash you as uh, I answer for this guy but, but it was my wrong because I am man, real man I like, gonna answer like that. We looked up to him, all the guys, me, everybody, like when he was fighting with McGregor, I, I, knew, I was a brave fighter at that time. I was watching the fight, pray for him. My mother also prayed for him. The clock. Yeah. When they ask me about this guy, first thing, go ask coach. When I said coach, I can knock this guy out. I said, as coach and manager, if they don't want this fight, I listen to these guys. But and, I accept and, the all. And why? It's not we don't want the fight. Is we we, we want to choose a weight and go for the belt in that way. Jumping up, down, left, right, oh, oh, like. You know, don't have any fight, any problem like fighting anyone. But it has to be in one weight and going for the belt. If we're like jumping up, down, left, right, we're never gonna get the belt. Uh, how much? 89, bro. 89. 89 kilos. Oh, What's up? Yeah, bro. Step on the fucking run. Step and run. Run forward. Step on the fucking run.
What's going on now, my dear? He's gonna sign his bot agreement. I forgot about that totally. I got it like a week ago, but totally forgot to, get, to print it out and uh, send it back. Smash this contract. <laughs> send it to you. My dear, are you ready, brother? It makes you 50 G. What more? Four, three, two, one, let's go! So, yeah. Congratulations, Mary. One more Rolex, brother. Yeah. <laughs>
press conference from Yaz Island, Abu Dhabi. Next up in the welterweight division, the most talked about newcomer of 2020, the man who quickly ascended to superstardom with three jaw-dropping performances over the course of two months. Here is the undefeated and unstoppable Obviously, been in the UFC for a very long time. Hamzat uh, is is surging right now. As the promo said, you have a lot of knockout wins in your previous few fights. So, what do you have that Hamzat, that previous opponents, doesn't have inside the octagon? Chimaev, long man, everyone knows. I'm Leech, Shishu Mo, right? You want to fight? You want to win? I'm willing to do his push. He has the ability to throw me down. I'm willing to do it. No problem. But I'm 我的拳头，不好意思，不是那么容易过去的。OK， 火归火，实力归实力，这是两码事大家一定分清啊，不要被这个颠倒了。我的魄力一直很低，我知道没有关系，这不是一次两次了，对吧？波塞公司上一次不就是翻船了吗？<笑>是吧 ？OK， 啊。Awesome, you too. Thank you. Yep, you're good. Yep, that's enough. It's time for the ceremonial way for UFC 267. Cage is my home. I like to be inside. I like to see my opponent, to see his face, to beat his face, eat him. You know, like I'm so hungry. <laughs> Nine fights, nine finishes. I'm here to kill. I eat his heart and take his head. I'm the warrior. have made the impact that Hamzat Shemaev did in 2020. He broke the modern UFC record with three wins in the shortest time and he shot to stardom. However, we have not seen him in a year due to a string of medical setbacks. But when I spoke to him earlier this week, Hamzat said to me unequivocally, Smash is back. Now, there's been a real fire in the eyes about Hamzat this week. And when I caught up with his corner team, they told me that the biggest priority this week was to keep him calm. And that was only going to get more difficult when they got into the locker room free fights. But I also spoke to Hamzat and he told me that he is looking for a war. But gents, he is not convinced he'll get one tonight with Lee Jing Liang. This will be, as Donald Lewis, we want the tough fight. This should be on paper his tough fight. He has never had a war, obviously, 9 and 0. The finishing rate is 100%. His coaches want him to be of a singular vision, to be clear intention to chase this welterweight belt. Tonight, he will try to crack, at the very least, the top 11. Well, to know the leech is to love the leech. Lee Jin Leong, the number 11 ranked welterweight in the world, 15th UFC appearance. 10 and 4 inside the octagon. He has been at this a long time. Daniel turned pro back in 2007. And he's just talking about doing more as opposed to thinking more. He's not overthinking this matchup. He doesn't care about the fact that he's plus 435 on the money line. He's leaning into all the UFC experience. He is hardened by it in the best of ways. And tonight, if he can beat Hamza Shimaev, he will have effectively changed his professional life forever. Here we go, three rounds, this in the UFC welterweight division. 
Introducing to you first, finding it at Stockholm, Sweden, by way of Chechnya, Russia. Here is the undefeated Hamza Bars Chimaya. And across the octagon, his opponent fighting at a Beijing, China. Here is Lee, the leech, Jing Lian. And your referee in charge of the action is Jason Herza. Jason Herzog with a good seat for this one. The lovely Carly Baker back with us here on Fight Island. Intensity personified on both sides. This fight clock is brought to you by Fitness Coach App. Lee Jing Leung in red comes out. Chimaya in black with an early shot. Oh, nice defense by Lee. Oh, nice job by Chimaya. Oh, my goodness. He's talking to David. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Nice job. He pulled the leech off of the cage so that he could get to the back and put that hook in. Like Hamza Chimaev, six to one favorite coming in, could have been twelve to one. Yeah. There's no welterweight in the world that he trains with because he's, he's too good. But John, I'm pointing to the screen. Look at how many strikes the Leafs landed again. I mean, uh -huh. that's not the first guy that's had a big fat zero on their strikes landed when they fought Hamza Chimaev. There's been one strike landed, I think. Right? <laughs> yes. I'm not kidding. In all of his fights. In all of his fights. Four UFC fights, he's given up one strike. Oh, we're not there yet. Hamza Chimaev shared a moment with Hunter Campbell and Dana White. Dude's incredible. I mean, even the leech acknowledging as much. All right, now time for the official decision. It is brought to you by Jimmy Johns. And here is Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the technical submission by Rear Naked Choke comes officially. Three minutes, 16 seconds. Round number one, we have your winner, Hamza Bo. I'm here with Hamza Chimaev. Hamza. Of course you're with me. We will we'll kill everybody. I'll stay here. It's my home. Allah Akbar! You picked him up and you walked him to the corner to talk to Dana White. What were you saying before you put him down and went to work? I said that I'm the king here. I was saying a long time I'm going to come for everybody. I kill everybody. You believe me now? I told you I'm going to kill him. That I did. He sleep, bro. Hamzat, you are proven to be a problem for everybody you're in the octagon with. Who would you like to see next when you step into the octagon? Everybody, everybody. I come here for everybody. Kill everybody. I'm the champ. I'm the king. Kill everybody. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, he has given up one strike in four fights. Give it up for Hamzat Jumayev. Do you believe him now? 
every word he has said before his fights. He is backed up in the octagon, not unlike Conor McGregor when he got going. Kamzat Shimaev is the real deal, and you got to think this has firmly put the welterweight top 10 on notice. Uh, another cool moment was when Hamzat picks up his opponent, turns, walks towards you while screaming and shouting at you, and slams him down. I'm very curious what he happened to be saying. Yeah, he was yelling crazy. He should have me the whole fight. I, I, I don't know why, but uh, basically just saying, you know, I'm going to fight everybody. I'll fight Brock Lesnar. I don't care who it is. You know, he's just yelling stuff like that. Yeah, he's basically picked up right where he left off. Right? Yeah, 100%. I mean, listen, last time we were here, we knew this guy was special. He wants to fight, as you say, all the time. But you also need to start putting him against like top tier guys. Do you just say, well, he can fight whoever says yes until there's an opening against a top tier guy? Or do you make him sit and wait until he fights a contender? It's tough once you start to break into the top 10, which he will do on Tuesday. Um, I, uh, but yeah, listen, if he wants to stay busy, I, I'm a big believer in that anyway, especially when with the huge layoff he's had. So. I don't know, we would figure it out if that's really what he wanted to do. I mean, it's hard to say right now, right? Because he's only been hit twice in four UFC fights. But what do you think the ceiling is on this guy? How about he's got more wins in the UFC than he's been hit in the UFC? Would you say he was the star of the night? I know, obviously, Jan had a great point. 100%. 100%. I mean, not, not even close. Like I said, everything... I don't know what you guys uh, had as far as traffic, but... Our traffic on Hamza was off the roof and, you know, 10 times more than, than anybody else. Uh, I saw him backstage, uh, I think he was talking to Sean Shelby, Are you, is he asking to be booked real quick? I mean, is he looking for a super quick turnaround? Listen, I'm sure the guy does want to fight. We'll get home and we'll figure out what's next for him. You done with me? Have a safe trip home, everybody. Thank you.
Kā tas tas fotbolē? and these big things that kill the people and uh, why we can't live like normal, you know. And uh, I'm, if you go up like with these things, you know, war and uh, you, after nobody wanna see this again, you know. Like some people never get, uh, see the war and don't go up there. They think like, you know, like, yeah, it's normal for you see on TV, like movie, you know. And when you is there, you don't want to be there. And I always was like, I was a kid, I was nervous and uh, didn't know how I expect these things, you know. Like always everyone was, you look at them, everyone is scared and uh, stressed, you know. Now uh, everything is good. Now my family feels good. And uh, I live in Sweden, the safest country. I like them, it's like my home, you know. And in my country also, no war anymore, and everyone lives happy. And I, I hope so, it will be like that. I читаю вообще школа не моя тема, моя тема это улица. Он мне такую написал, я говорю, да ну вы. Понятно, что это вас, я так и левый бади, смешивый бади. А я кричу и выхожу там делать драки, но не знаю, что я какой то обезбашенный такой, знаешь, без мозгов иду, что жублю людей. Понимаю жизнь, изучаю все, по любому все узнают, какой я человек есть и. Я хочу людям довести, что я неплохой человек в жизни и только в клетке плохой. Все, все забываешь. Мне, мне очень нравится, как я выскакиваю туда, у, короче, туда, сюда, короче, черты, и все эти сучки. Сам иногда не верю, что я туда. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Kamaro. Uh, thanks for the time today. How are you doing? Wait, John, you didn't get the first question? Come on. He's doing video right now, so he's past the reins. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to be asked about Hamza Chamayev plenty this week. Uh, I remember I interviewed you earlier this year, and I asked you about him before he had you know, to take all this time off, and you said, all respect to the guy, you showed no ill will, the fact that he seems to be getting a very quick push where you had to do nine fights before you got a title opportunity. What are your thoughts on him now? Is he someone that you see quickly coming on your radar? You know, I'm at a point in life to where I'm starting to understand, you know, how much this takes from me. And, you know, I've been nine weeks now away from my daughter. And, you know, FaceTime does help, but it doesn't do it justice, you know, as far as being there each and every day. So, you know, obviously I don't, I don't know how much longer I'm willing to do this, you know. Um, they have to make sense for me now. So if he's able to get there, then, you know, we'll talk about it at that point. Usman, stay there, bro. I coming for you. Woo! Well, of course, bro. The propeller, bro. The M T D is boa. Is what? Очень 
приятно приводить домой и получить такую энергию от президента нашей республики. Всегда совет дает всем мои боевики, которые спортивные. Как старший всегда совет хороший дает ему понимание для дальше. Всегда рад приезжать домой. В прошлый раз, как мы все знаем, я заболел и чуть не оставил спорт. Абдуля, у нас есть такой глава и помог ему вылечиться и идти дальше. Очень приятно быть такой подарок. Thank you.